we expect Elijah Collins the young redshirt freshman who looked good in a few carries last week against Tulsa to open at running back. They're trying to find that guy that Mark Antonio likes a 200 plus carry a year kind of guy like they've had in the past with Jeremy Langford Lev Bell and even Javon Ringer back in the past. Hand off to Elijah up the middle a burst on his feet. He's in midfield, angles to his right at the 40. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. Collins, passing outside, into the end zone. There goes Collins, it's touchdown. Hand off to Elijah Collins, off left guard, broke a tackle, gets to the goal line, he's into the end zone. Now this young man had 192 last week, the most by a starting Michigan State running back, and second most by a Michigan State freshman all time. I registered in my first year, and like I was like most of the year I was on the scout team. You could like take it as a positive or a negative. You could either you could either sit there and feel for, sorry for yourself. Oh, I'm not playing. So like, what's the point? I'm just I'm just here. For me, I was like, this is the year I can get better. I can get stronger. I can get bigger. I can get faster. And every day, being on scout team, I'm uh, playing against the best defense in the country. So I'm gonna try to give them my all. And if I can do stuff, I can like make them make them miss or get a couple yards against them. I can potentially do do well against like other other teams and other opponents. As with a lot of the freshmen, what hampers them a little bit is mentally trying to learn and know what to do and. and Really, they don't play fast early on, and then there's that that moment. You know, you always either see in a, in a practice or a run or carry in the running back situation. In Elijah's situation, you just saw him take off on one run, and you're like, this guy has a really um, gifted skill set as a running back. We remember Elijah early in high school, and and his athletic ability you, you heard about, you know, on the basketball court, and we had opportunities seeing him his junior year and kind of following his success. He was just a freak athlete, faster than everybody, stronger than a lot of people. Uh, he always checked the other team's best player, you know, did a really good job. My parents told him that, my dad definitely told him a while ago he should play football, you know, not instead of basketball, but just play football also. And I think he ended up doing that. But he was a freak athlete, very competitive, uh, helped us win a lot of games. You know, he won a state championship with us too. I've been playing like football and basketball since I can remember almost. I started playing basketball in kindergarten because my dad, was a, like, he loved basketball, he was a basketball guru. Basketball was like my first love because it was the first sport I ever was introduced to. And I took that very deeply because my whole family played basketball. For high school, like I went to U of D and it was like my brother had went to U of D and at that time we were predominantly basketball, like school. Basketball was kind of like the main focus for me after my, uh, my freshman year because I had decided to uh, actually not play football my sophomore year. That year, we actually went to this and won the state title because like, we had put a lot into it because our freshman year, we actually uh, went to the Final Four and lost, and it was probably the most devastating thing I've ever been a part of. But for me, I kind of had a feeling in the back of my mind, like, I want to go back and play football. I knew that football was kind of like calling me back because I kind of missed it. And when I did, I mean, it was just like, love at first sight again. I remember when he first started getting offers from schools in football, he started scoring touchdowns, things like that. He was just happy for him that he, you know, he got that success, able to put his name on the map, just credit to who he is as a person, how hard he works and things like that. I was just proud of him to get to this stage, get this opportunity. And, you know, every time an opportunity opens up for him, he, he takes advantage of it and I love to see it. Elijah Collins, redshirt freshman from U of D Jesuit, the same school that gave MSU basketball Cassius Winston is on it running back handoff to Collins runs to his right and he's out over the 30 to the 34 yard line showing some quickness there as he picked up seven. Elijah has the physical skill set and power and acceleration and, and strength and and really through spring you could see him in that competition that we had with a couple other running backs and sort of emerged toward the top in the first game you saw a couple carries and you're like we need to see this guy go. He reads the handoff, and there it goes. It's touchdown. Flag down. That first game I got the ball, I just took off and it was just gone. And then I actually broke through and scored my first touchdown against Tulsa. 
but they eventually called it back. So I was a little heartbroken, but I was okay with it because I, I just I just had a feeling that I had to go get in and get another one, no matter at what cost or what it took. Like take every play and make something of it. Like don't sit back and like be like, oh I wish I can get that back, get that back. No, I'll take every play and like take it as like take it very personal. That's so what I learned from Lorenzo why he said take it personal. I mean he was a he was an absolute monster here. One year he had about like two thousand yards. And he said he took every snap, every every run he had, he took it personal. He ran he ran with a purpose every single time. I'm still learning, I'm still trying to like do everything as close to perfect as I can because you can't you can't always be perfect, but the closer you get to it, I think the better your team is. Elijah's just tapped the you know the very beginning of, of his career, and you see what's what's coming, you know, and and so excited for his future and what he can bring as he just grows as a player. You're seeing him emerge and grow as a leader in that position room and offensively, and he has sort of a quiet soul, a humble spirit about himself, and you, you see that emerge, knowing that that he's the guy in that room, and so you see it sort of evolve in the huddle and with the other offensive guys. It's amazing, just you know, both of us from out of UAD, you know, a uh, school that's probably not even known for his, his sports like that in, in a way. And you know, he made it out there, I made it out there, and able to do some big things on a on a high major level. So just credit to his work ethic again, the type of kid he is, type of person he is, and I'm probably pretty sure this is just just the beginning for Elijah Collins. Being a starting running back is kind of like a dream come true, and I didn't think it would happen so fast, but it did. And with that, with that being said, I'm just gonna take it and just run with it. I'm not gonna slow down for anything or anybody. I'm going from the back of the room to the front of the room. And like being the leader now, I mean, it's a lot to take in, but at the same time, I'm cool with that. I've been a leader before. I just gotta step up and uh, be a good leader for my brothers.